Creating seven different games in seven days was a challenge, but here's how it all went down. Well, I had to push the limits on this one. I had to achieve an unbelievable milestone in game development. Did I manage to achieve the unthinkable or this challenge was too hard for me? It was the first day of the challenge and I was so pumped to get this started. However, I had one major drawback. I had a cold. This didn't go pretty well because I was so determined to go through the day and work on the game. I worked on the game Flappy Chicken and as funny as the name sounds, it's just yet another Flappy Bird clone. I started this by getting the chicken model from Poly Pizza, rigged it and added some eyes to make it different and cute. And mine decided to add some flapping animations and programmed these wooden varnish walls as obstacles to endlessly keep spawning until the player dies. It was a little bit hard making the chicken flap with the right amount of physics force, but at the end of the day, we got it working. This was only the beginning. I had six more games to make. I tried to make the worst kind of game, a chicken endless runner game. And before I worked on this game, I decided to make all the games, the seven games based off chickens. The game took me a while to make, but it wasn't as stressful to make. It's just like Subway Surfers or even Temple Run. I added a running animation and two jumping animations. Please don't lie, you know this jumping animation is actually very sick. Look at that, look at that. I then went ahead to add obstacles that randomly spawn throughout the map. So it's an endless runner game. And after that, we have the chicken run game. Woohoo, day two done. Before day three, I actually added a high scoring system to the endless runner game. So there's more progression for the player. And now let me tell you about day three, where it all started to get crazy. I'm gonna be making a soccer game today, day three. A football game, football. It's football, not soccer. To be honest, this is actually my best game out of the seven games. It's just like air hockey and soccer combined, but you have to play against different levels of AI bots. Making this game was a little bit tough because I had to balance game dev with this faith conference I had to film for. So recently, I've actually grown a lot in having faith in Jesus Christ. And I know this is, it takes a lot of courage to say this in front of my game dev audience, but it's just something I feel super proud of. And I just want to share with um, everyone. And it was the central part of the conference I had. So it was, even though I had to like film a lot of stuff and spend nights editing videos for the whole Look. conference, I felt proud to balance that with the games I had to make. But anyways. Day four, Egg Rock. This might be my second favorite game just because it sounds cool. Egg Rock. It should be like a, a music genre. Egg Rock. <laughs> I was still at the conference at this point and it was so difficult to find any time to work on a game. Like I had full day shifts to do. So I had to use my lunch period, 12 to 1 p.m. to quickly work on a game. Basically the idea of the game is that you have a chicken at the bottom of the screen and it's holding like a, a nest and eggs fall from the sky and you've got to catch the eggs to get points. But hear me out, you also have to watch out for the rocks because those rocks reduce your points. After making this, I made the worst game ever. Day five game, the, the pointless game. That's what I'm gonna call it. The chicken, the pointless chicken game. Try my best to find some time to work on a game on this day, but I was so busy that I couldn't even find any, any time slot. I had only one option to choose, and that was to duplicate the game I made the last day and add a few changes so the game looks different. And basically how the game works is you are a chicken flying in the sky. <laughs> You're a chicken flying in the sky and whales are also flying in the sky. You have to dodge the whales so they don't eat you, eat you up. And you have, you have a gun right behind you, but the gun doesn't work. So yeah, that's day five. I decided to include this in the game because I just have to be true to myself and and be honest and be sincere that 
it didn't all go as planned and it didn't all work well. Day six, game, stealthy chicken. Aesthetically wise, I made the best game at this point. I had a lot of time to work in the game to add some visual appeal and stuff because I was done with the conference, obviously. So I just thought of taking out all the lights and making a chrome dinosaur clone. And hopefully this, this game actually does better than the chrome dinosaur. It's just that here, instead of cactuses, you jump over rolling balls and the dinosaur is a chicken, a, well, we can call it a, a chickosaur or a di dino chicken, dino chin. Yeah. Seven, um, day seven, chickamania. Chickamania. Day seven, I decided to combine all the games into one game and pretty much fix every single bug slash error I had in all the six games that I made in the past six days. And day seven was kind of like a chill day just to like amend everything. And I added a menu to make the game complete. It's gonna be on the screen. I added the menu and added like buttons to go to each different game. And voila, I, that's that's the whole game. And with all of this said, I went ahead to add a touch input for mobile devices and uploaded the game on the App Store and the Play Store. And now you can play the game for free. For free, you know what that means? You can play the game for free. You can go to the App Store or the Play Store to get the game for zero. Point zero zero dollars or whatever currency you use.